Good day everyone, I'm Sir RJ Lason, your math tutor and guide on this exciting journey through the world of numbers. In this video, we will discuss all about measures of dispersion, part 1, the range, and standard deviation. Let us define first what is measures of dispersion. It describes how the spread of the data are. Specifically, it measures the variation of the data values among themselves and around the average or the mean. Now, there are three components of measures of dispersion, which uh, first is the range, variance, and standard deviation. Let us define first what is the range. The range of a set of the data values is the difference between the greatest data value and the least data value. So to find the range, we just need to subtract the greatest va data value minus the or subtract by the least data value. Let's have an example. Let us find the range of the grades of student A and student B. Now, in grades in student A, the uh, the highest uh, the highest value or the highest data value is English, that is 96, and the lowest data value is 90. So we have here the range of the grades in student A is 96 minus 90 is 6. While in student B, grades in student B, the highest data value is 99 in English and the lowest value or the least value is 87 in social science. So we have 99 minus 87, we have 12. So that's how you find the value of the range. Now let's proceed to standard deviation. The standard deviation of the numerical data make use of the individual amount of each data values deviate from the mean. So... If we have now the standard deviation value, let us analyze the other results. The closer the standard deviation to zero, the lower the data variability and more reliable the mean is. While if the, our standard deviation is equal to zero or equal to zero, it indicates that every value of the data set is exactly equal to the mean. While the, the higher the standard deviation, the more variation there is in the data and less accurate or less accurate the mean is. So there are uh, ways to solve the standard deviation. Uh, let us um, identify first or given uh, data if it's a population or sample. So if we have x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3 until x sub n is a population of n, number uh, with a mean of uh, mu, then the standard deviation of the population is, we have the standard deviation of population equals to the uh, square root of the summation of your squared of deviation over n. And if your x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3 until x sub n is a sample of n, number with the mean, then the standard deviation of the sample is s equals the square root of the summation of the squared deviation over n minus 1. So let's follow this procedure for computing the standard deviation. First, we need to determine the mean of the n or n numbers. Second, for each number, we need to calculate the deviation or the difference between the number or the data and the mean of the numbers. Third, we need to calculate the square of each of the deviation and find the sum of the square of the deviation. All we need to do, since we have the result in the, in the deviation, we just need to raise to 2 na lang on the result to get the square of deviation. Fourth, if the data is a population, then divide the sum of n if the data is, sum, is a sample. Then divide the sum by n minus 1. Find, na, last one is we need to find the square root of the quotient in step number 4. Let's have an example. The following numbers were obtained by sampling a population. We have 1, 2, 5, 7, 8. So it's stated here, sampling a population, that means our given data is a sample. Find the sample of the standard deviation correct to two decimal places. So we have we need to use uh, the uh, standard deviation of the sample equals the square root of the summation of your squared deviation over n minus 1. So we have here, step number one, we need to find the mean. So we have 1 plus 2 plus 5 plus 7 plus 
8, we have 23 divided by 5 because we have 5 uh, total number of data. So 23 divided by 5, we have 4.6. Next, in step number 2, we need to find the deviation. So first, we need to write the data first. So we need to have here data x for the column. We have 1, 2, 5, 7, 8. And what is the summation of the data? We have 23. To find the deviation, all we need to do is subtract the data and the mean. So we have here 1 minus 4.6, we have negative 3.6. 2 minus 4.6, we have negative 2.6. 5 minus 4.6, we have 0 0.4. 7 minus 4.6, we have positive 2.4. 8 minus 4.6, we have positive 3.4. Class, next is we need to find the sum of the deviation. So, total all the results of your deviation and the result is 0. Now, we need to remember that the sum of the deviation, deviation is always 0. You can, use it this, uh, you can use this fact to check your arithmetic. Again, the sum of the deviation is always 0. Now, if your result is not 0, class, try to check. Uh, when you subtract your deviation, your data, and your mean. Now, in step number three, we need to calculate the square of each deviation in step two and find the sum of the of this square deviation. So, we have here the result of your deviation, diva. Right? So, we just need to square it. So, raised to two. That is negative 3.6 raised to two or negative 3.6 times negative 3.6. We have positive 12.96. Negative 2.6 raised to 2, we have positive 6.76. 0 0.4 squared, we have 0 0.16. 2.4 squared, we have 5.76. 3.4 squared, we have 11.56. Now, just add all the square deviation. So we have here the summation of your square deviation is 37.19. Now, in step number four, because we have the sample n5 values, divide the sum of the square of deviation by n minus 1, which is 5 minus 1, we have 4. So we have here the sum not of their square square of devi squared of deviation, which is 37.19, divided by 5, since we have 5 data sets na. So 5 minus 1, since we are going to use or we've used the sample no of the standard deviation so 37.19 divided 4 we have 9.2975 now step number 5 we just need to square root our result of our step number 4 so square root of 9.2975 that is 3.05 so our standard deviation is 3.05 let's try example number 3 Find the standard deviation of the given population data, 2, 5, 8, 10, and 15. So it's stated here, given population data. So we will use the standard deviation of the population. So we have standard deviation of the population is equals to square root of the sum, uh, summation of the square deviation over n. So step number one, we need to find the mean. So add to, uh, uh, find the sum of the data set. So 2 plus 5 plus 8 plus 10 plus 15, we have 40. Divided by 5, since we have 5 data sets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 40 divided by 5 is 8. Step number 2, for each number, uh, calculate a deviation or the difference between the number and the mean. So we need to write first the data no, in the first column, so the datas are 2, 5, 8, 10, 15, and the sum of summation of our data is 40. To compute the deviation, we just need to subtract the data to the mean. So in step number 1, our mean is 8, so we have 2 minus 8, we have negative 6. 5 minus 8, we have negative 3. 8 minus 8, we have 0. 10 minus 8, we have positive 2. 15 minus 8, we have positive 7. So next is we need to find the sum of our deviation. So add all the, de uh, the results of your deviation. So negative 6 plus negative 3, negative 9 plus 0, negative 9, 
plus positive 2, we have negative 7, plus positive 7, we have 0. Okay, always remember that the sum of the deviation is always 0. Now, in step number 3, we need to calculate the square of the deviation in step number 2. So, since we have here the results now of our deviation, in the square of deviation, erase to 2 lang na to class. So, negative 6 raised to 2, we have positive 36. Negative 3 raised to 2, we have positive 9. 0 raised to 2, we have 0. 2 raised to 2, we have 4. 7 raised to 2, we have 49. And then, find the sum of the squared of deviation. So, 36 plus 9 plus 0 plus 4 plus 49, we have 98. Now, next, because we have the sample n equals to 5, divide the sum of the square deviation by n is equals to 5. So, we have here the square of deviation na is 98 divided by 5 since we have 5 data sets. So, we have the result 19.6. So, in step number 5, we just need to square root 19.6. So, the standard deviation of the population is the square root of 19.6, we have 4.43. So the standard deviation of the population of the given data set is 4.43. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you learned something out of this lesson. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and share it with your friends and your classmates. That's all for today, everyone. Goodbye.